Hi, I'm David Leach, and we are here to break down how to make a fight scene. So there are several steps to making a great fight scene, but most importantly, you want to focus on the story and focus on the character. Second thing is training up your talent. What I try to do as a director is try to train the actors to do as much as possible and not break the illusion of the characters doing their own stuff. The last is integrating special effects, visual effects, and every sort of cinematic trick you can to make it a fresh experience for the audience. Vanessa took to the stunt training incredibly well, and you know we built out a library of moves and things that define Hattie. The idea was always by design that we would intercut those fight scenes, and we would see Hattie Shaw and Shaw actually fight in similar styles. They both like found objects. Yeah. Hey. Deckard fights with a toaster. Hattie fights with a bob. Ah! I think it's always fun to take the fight to the next level and not just be about fisticuffs. If you can find objects in the room that have levity ah! Ah! or severity, it's interesting. We thought it would be more interesting instead of having a traditional like uh, shoot 'em up that we could highlight sort of the brothers coming together, fighting side by side, not unlike Hattie and Deckard, Hobbs and his brothers. They have a second language that only siblings can have. The weapons for the Samoan battle were actually based on traditional Samoan weapons. Let's go old school. But also, if you look closely, the brothers in the machine shop were making weapons in the montage. So they were using parts of engines and welding, makeshift weapons. <laughs> There's a logistical puzzle to doing a battle scene. I have luckily been involved in many movies that have these battle scenes as a stunt performer, as a fight choreographer. What you do is you teach the background artists how to do some fights that are sort of like cycles, right? And then you have layers of background artists doing different fight scenes and you can move them around. So you're creating this great palette of chaos in the back, allowing a backdrop for your characters where you're really focusing on the specific choreography that you've designed. I was beginning to like you two, you know that? Oh well. We've sort of built up this expectation for hopefully the fight of the century at the end of this movie. They make a plan to take a punch to land a punch. We work together, we can hurt. Self-sacrifice for each other. Time to work as a team. It's a real pivotal moment in the movie, and that's where we came up with the super slow-mo cam. There's a combination of practical stunts, willing actors, and visual effects that made this all happen. And uh, I think people are going to go like, how'd they do that? Did they really just punch Dwayne in the face? <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Woo! Idris, Dwayne, Jason, I think they were pretty surprised when I said, no, rain machines. And they're like, no, seriously, right? CG rain? I'm like, no, no, rain. Rain. For a week. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Adding the element of rain, it's not as easy as you'd think. The logistical puzzle for special effects is building rain scaffolding that covers an entire set, having a set with a pan that can drain the water out so the set doesn't flood, not ruin the set floor, so they have to rebuild the stages when you're gone. All of those things get taken into account. So when a jerk of a director like this guy says, I want rain at the end of the movie, there are a lot of like rolling of the eyes. But I think once it's done, everyone is to see how beautiful it is through the lens. The way water reacts with light, the way your characters feel physically and emotionally when they're standing there, the real elements they're facing. It's a hell of a business place. I love shooting fight scenes. It's in my roots. It's where I came from as a stunt performer and a fight choreographer and as a martial artist and a competitor. I'm really grateful to have an outlet for all this useless martial arts knowledge that I have. Stuff that wouldn't work on the street, I can somehow make it work on the movie screens. All those years of karate lessons, they paid off, Mom. Thank you. I appreciate it.